Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm gonna show you a few more Windows optimization steps to make sure that you have more FPS in Fortnite chapter 3 and if you guys enjoy the content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me say so much and with that said let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, for the first part of today's video, we actually need to get my new best game user settings here in Fortnite Chapter 3. And what I want you to do is head over to the first link in the description guys, where you can find my website and just simply click here onto best competitive Fortnite settings, open up the website and then we're gonna scroll down here where we already have the download button, where we're gonna click on. You might get maybe like a pop-up ad, which you can just simply close, you know what I'm saying boys. And then next up you can see already the file, which we can download here by the way, straight up from Google Drive. And yeah guys, once the file is downloaded, we're gonna open it up and we can actually already close here the browser. And in here we can see now the game user settings. So therefore we're just gonna open it and drag those actually here on screen, you know, on my desktop here. So it's a little bit easier to find them. There we got it already. And once we got those game user settings here on our desktop guys, we're gonna go into our Windows search bar, type in presenter, temp presenter and open up the first file. Then we're gonna click here onto local, press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, saved config windows client and then we can see our old game user settings which i'm by the way just going to straight up delete here guys because we're going to replace it with the new ones and what you can do from now here is guys first of all go actually into properties and make sure that the attribute read only is unchecked and now we can go in there and you can apply whichever stretch resolution you guys are utilizing right now they can see it now resolution size x and y and some really good ones are something like 1750 times 1080 1650 times 1080 1722 times 1070 but i gotta tell you guys the best one for me personally is 1722 times 1070 so I just replace it here for both the resolution size x and y and the last user confirmed resolution size x and y and then we're gonna go here onto file save it close it right click again onto our game user settings go into properties but this time we're gonna make sure that the attribute read only is actually checked press apply press ok and now we already applied it and now let's continue with the actual optimization steps and yeah guys now in this next step I'm going to show you a few simple methods which can drastically improve the performance of your Windows PC and especially give you so much more FPS in Fortnite and what I want you to do in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and simply type in notification until you find notifications and action settings. Just simply open it up guys and there we can say now in here we have all the notifications on our Windows PC. And what I would like you to do is simply make sure that you uncheck all three of these here guys and actually turn notifications completely off. Trust me guys, they actually take so much system power in the background which could be utilized for gaming guys you know in order to speed up your PC a little bit more and get actually maximum FPS in games. And next up we're gonna go also here into the focus assist and just simply make sure that it's turned off as well guys and once you're done with that you're pretty much already set here for this part and yeah you can close it here and once we're done with that guys I want you to go again here into your Windows search bar and just simply type in storage until you find the storage settings here of your Windows PC and yeah as you can see guys we have tons of files here actually which are being now like browsed here on my PC we have applications and features desktop stuff you know everything but what we're gonna focus on are actually the temporary files and we're gonna open it up and you can see guys that right now I actually have around like 16.2 gigabytes of download files previous windows installations like a ton a ton of files here and what i want you to do pretty much now is select as many as you can guys like previous windows installations a hundred percent you don't need these old updates here on your windows pc and as you can see it actually frees up 12.1 gigabytes that's so much and when it comes down to downloads you're gonna know it for yourself i know for a fact that i still have like some arrows and some other pngs i need for my thumbnails in my downloads folder actually itself so i can't do it right now because yeah i didn't like select all the files there which i still need on my pc so i can check it as of right now but if you can guys also make sure to select downloads and yeah now you can see already the total space which we could clear up potentially as 16.4 gigabytes we have temporary files windows upgrade log files thumbnails temporary internet files and all that stuff which you just simply don't need on your PC so we're gonna of course you click now on to remove files gonna press on to continue and you can see now everything is being deleted here on our PC which is unnecessarily and I mean 16.4 gigabytes ain't that bad in total I mean that's a lot of storage and it's definitely gonna speed up your PC and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me say so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace